for uh, many years several different gun companies have uh, attempted with various degrees of success of chambering uh, rimless cartridges in revolvers and double action revolvers and single action revolvers is no problem but the extraction has always been a problem double action revolvers uh, a lot of times they use uh, original ideas was use moon clips either uh, third moon or half moon or full moon clips to hold the cartridge rims pop them in there but there's been a, a couple of times uh, that uh, revolver makers have designed revolvers with extractors that will extract the rimless cartridges without having to use the moon clips and uh, Charter Arms now has their new Pitbull revolver out uh, chamber for 40 Smith & Wesson it holds five shots and they've designed this uh, extractor on here with some spring loaded uh, engagements for the rim of the cartridge where it'll shoot those rimless 40 Smith & Wesson cartridges uh, in this revolver and extracts them with ease and reliably uh, you don't have to use moon clips, you don't have to use anything like that you just chamber the cartridges in here and it'll extract them just like a rimmed cartridge and it does pretty good, the 40 uh, Smith & Wesson in a short barrel like this has uh, got plenty of power uh, the buffalo bore loads are of the 180 grain hollow points doing a thousand feet per second out of this short barrel anyway it does real good the charters it's easy to shoot uh, it's made in America made well nothing fancy uh, they're just good uh, solid reliable revolvers just like they've been making them for years at Charter Arms it's got a nice uh, synthetic rubber grip on here that's hand filling so uh, you get a good grip on it so you can handle the recoil and all but a lot of people like the 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge, which it is a good cartridge, uh, but they like the reliability and the simplicity, the ease of use of a revolver. And Charter Arms now has this uh, new Pitbull stainless steel uh, belly gun or pocket gun. Fix easily in your pocket if you uh, got the right pocket, you know, uh, uh, real tight jeans and all it's going to print through, but normal clothes like most of us old guys wear with the... Uh, uh, looser jeans or, or dockers like some fellas tend to wear whatever works good works good in a, a like a kangaroo uh, shoulder holster under a shirt or in something uh, like a crossbreed makes a good inside the pants holster for this lots of good ways to carry it and you got the reliability you got the five shots you don't hold as many shots as a semi-auto but uh, like Sheriff Jim Wilson told everybody last week if you do your job with a revolver you don't got to worry about reloading this quick if, uh, uh, five shots usually take care of anything you need in a defensive situation and the charter pit bull is a good way to go to shoot a good hollow point 40 Smith & Wesson and revolver. I'll show you here these uh, cartridge case rims fit pretty much flush with the cylinder. Uh, the, the case head supported really well, a lot better than it is in a 40 Smith & Wesson semi-auto. But anyway, the cartridges lay in there well, they extract well. I want to demonstrate the recoil. We're shooting 180 grain uh, striker uh, hollow point ammunition. So the, uh, they used the Hornady XT PNS. Running out of here at uh, about 850 feet per second. Very controllable. They extract really well. Come right out of there and. Uh, uh, that load at that speed is uh, recoil is no problem at all. Now I've got some uh, loaded up with some Buffalo Bore Plus P ammunition. This is 180 grain hollow point also, but it's running out of here at 1,000 feet per second. Recoil is a little stiffer, but uh, with this grip, it's still easy control, not painful at all. Still extracts very well, the cartridge cases fall right out.